Hey there! In VS Code, the default tab size is set to 4 spaces. But if you want different tab sizes for different file types, you'll need to change some settings. For example, let's say you want the tab to be 4 spaces in HTML files, but 2 spaces in JavaScript files. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set the tab size based on the file type. Let's get started. Open the settings.json file by pressing down Ctrl Shift P and run the preferences open user settings JSON command. Now we are going to start off by setting the editor that detect dentation and we'll set this to false. So this setting is helpful when working with files that use different dentation styles. If you set it to false, VS Code will not automatically detect the indentation style from the file. Instead, it will use the settings we'll configure next. Let's say you want to have two spaces tab in JavaScript files. Let's go ahead and define the language and then specify the editor that tab size to be 2. And then let's say we want for HTML to have 4 spaces. Alright, let's test this out. Open the HTML file. Here we have four spaces and in JavaScript we have two. All right, let's go and add one more language. Let's pick the markdown language. And for this type of file, we are gonna go with two spaces as well. Here we have two spaces. Awesome. And now, as you can notice, both the JavaScript and the Markdown types have the same tab size values, two. So we can group them together to make them more concise and save some space. Save the file. Let's go back to our markdown and see if we have two spaces here exactly and two spaces as well in the JavaScript file. Awesome. Now I want to talk about a problem you might face when writing these configurations which is that the language names like JavaScript, uh, Markdown, and HTML might not always be obvious. Let's take the following example. I want to add another file type, let's say text, and set the editor tab size to something like 10, doesn't matter. If I set it like this, it will not work. As you can see here, we have four spaces. That's because VS Code doesn't recognize the TXT as language. So to find out the name of the language that VS Code supports, you can press down Control Shift P and run the following command. Preferences, configure language specific settings. And in this drop down menu, you'll see all the names of all the languages supported by VS Code. If we search for text, you'll see that the language for text files is actually plain text. So let's go ahead and change this to plain text, save the file, go to the example.txt and press tab. 
and as you can see we now have 10 spaces tab all right that was it if you enjoyed this video consider checking out my vs code playlist for more tutorials wishing you a wonderful day and i look forward to catching you in the next one